And away we go. It's episode 63 and we're flying solo right now. It's a mail day. Well, how is everybody doing out there today? We are doing fantastic here in the Fox House. I've got the day off and I've got some mail that's come on in. It's backed up a little bit, so we're going to show what we got. Um, and we're going to run through this real quick. That way we'll have a nice short video. Won't waste your time. Um, we do have some good news today. I heard news that Mama Fox wants to go to a card shop after work. She needs to get a new binder and some pages for her newfound hobby. So this is great fun that she's joining along with uh, MC and myself. Um, pretty soon, um, the older MC that's away at college just may get a binder full of Trey Turner and... Uh, Kevin Kiermeyer because they are both dreamy for sure. But what did I get in the mail recently? Well, I do not collect basketball cards. However, in my Mountain Sports more, um, I started thinking about Julius Serving again. And when I grew up, and I did pick up this nice Julius Serving, it's a 2017-18 Dunruss Optic. That's a uh, Hall Kings here. It's also in lime green, and this one is number 96 out of 149. Again, I loved me some Dr. J growing up, um, back when I really, really got into basketball, back back in the day, so they say. Um, along with this one, I also got a Minnesota Twin. It is a Kent Herbeck upper deck card. Um, while I do not collect Kent Herbeck, I am a fan of the Twins, <clears throat> and I just love the pose on this, just chilling in the dugout on the phone. Hey, how you doing? Maybe he's pranking the bullpen. Who knows? Or maybe he's ordering a beer. That's Kent Herbeck for you. Also picked up a 1996 Pinnacle Aficionado. It's an Eddie Murray. Um, I saw it. I liked it. I got it. I get what I like. Um, while I'm not a pc -er of Eddie Murray, I just happen to really think this is a sharp card. I love the color contrasts and just the look of it. But now I did get some PC items. Um, Rod Carew being one of them. And this is a 1975 batting leaders card. He shares there with Atlanta Brave Ralph Gar. It's kind of interesting seeing some of the names on the back of this card as far as who some of the batting leaders were in the American League. Not only did we have Rod Carew in first, but uh, Mike Hargrove was playing for the Rangers. There was a bunch of Rangers that year. Um, and number seven was Lenny Randall. And also, um, Jeff Burroughs was one of the top 10 leaders. And Yaz was up there, still batting uh, 301 here in 1974. Um, but this is a gorgeous card for my youth, one that I remember. And then we also have a franchise leader from a 2018. This is um, pictured, he's pictured there with Harmon Killebrew, a couple of classic Twins players. We've got the 1985 Tops. Can never pass one of these up if we want to get it in focus, even though there he's with the Angels. We also have a Fleer, 1986 Fleer, Rod Carew's going in the binder. We also have another Fleer. This is an 86. This was an insert. Future Hall of Fla Flamers. Future Hall of Famers, Rod Carew. And that's followed up by a 1985 Dunruss. And this is also a special card here. This is one of the odd Dunruss highlights of Rod Carew. This is not getting in focus very good today. Um, on top of that, we've got a Ralston Pur Purina. Um, 1984, I believe, tops of Mr. Rodney Carew. The little Purina logo right up there. And then we have a couple of these cool sport flicks. Sport flicks. I can't even talk either. And this is a Rod Carew with his sweet swing. And then we also have one here, another Sport Flicks. Um, and these are from 1986. This is Carew, Jim Rice, if I can get him there. Is that Jim Rice there? And then we also have Raleigh Fingers, if we turn them just correctly. Rod Carew, and there he is. Raleigh Fingers at that point, pitching for the Brewers. Um, we picked up this 1987 Nestle's Dream Team. Rod Carew, nice shot there when he was younger. Um, that's when he played for the No Logo team right there. And we also have a 1991 Swell Baseball Giants card of Rodney Carew in the old throwback Twins jersey. I love that card. So those are the Rodney Carews that we got that are going to be going in the Rodney Carew pages of the Rodney Carew binder. A 
Love those ones. We also picked up a Ricky. It's a 2003 Fleer Tradition. This is one of the milestone cards of his 3,035th game. Right there. Not a big fan of the jersey he's wearing, but big fan of the player, Ricky Henderson. Top of that, we had a couple itchy rows that I picked up. Um, here is one of the 2005 Tops. 2004 Rawlings Gold Glove winner card. Itchy wrote trotting in or trotting out to the outfield, but he was a Gold Glove Award winner that year. And we also have in the series one of the um, Chasing 3K cards. Um, this is from 2016. This is for hit number 2248. Some more Itchy Row action. On top of that, I did pick this up. This is a shout out to Nate. This is a Bonds. Barry Bonds, a Fleer EX. Barry Bonds from 2000. I just love the look of this. And why not get it? It's Barry Bonds. Gotta get it. Um, we do have a, another Boy Crush edition. And this is... Dun, 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 uh, Willie Adamas, 2017. Look at that gorgeousness. It's a prospect. It's the mojo pattern. I can just feel the mojo coming off the card. And a lot's a glary glare. Maybe we won't be turning that light on in the future. But you can see the pattern there. And it's the mojo pattern. Very nice. Oh, I love that Willie Adamas. And then... You hear it, I am getting caught up in the world of slabs very slowly. Um, but I picked this one up here. It's part of my 1976 Topps Twins collection. This is Glenn Borgman. He was a catcher for the Twins. Obviously, he was a catcher. Duh. Says catcher. He's in the catching squat, and he's got a catcher's mitt. So what else would he be? He is a catcher. I do, however, remember one night. I used to listen to the Twins every night while I went to bed. Actually, my grandfather in the room next to me listened to it loud enough for the whole neighborhood to hear. And I do still to this day remember a home run that Glenn Borgman hit while they were playing the White Sox. Don't remember the situation. Don't remember what was going on. I do remember I was a young child and he hit a home run and it was bedtime for me. We also picked up um, in slab form the 1986 Tops Rod Carew. This is a mint nine. Um, I'm also going to be trying to get all the crews here in a slab form. Um, so that's my enterage into slabage and also some mail that we got today. Um, hopefully today we're going to get back on with our Hall of Fame vote. I think I've got it nailed down after much thought. Uh, again, I'm going to thank Mike for putting the Hall of Fame voting on for YouTube. I will thank him again in the video. Uh, but until then or until next time, this is MP Fox. Peace.